Hi, my name's Mike. Um, I've had a, a comment on the YouTube concerning the um, timing on the P38. So I thought it'd probably be easier just to make it, this little video to explain to you. This is the kit that you buy. This is how it comes in this, this um, protective case. It's a little bit dirty now obviously because I've been using it. But when you open it up, it's made by Nielsen. That sits on the back of it, but obviously. And what you get is a dial gauge indicator. That is a pin for locking the um, fuel injector pump. That's a gauge. But the bit that you're, you're interested in is this one. There's two adapters that come with it. And you can see, you've got that size there, and you've got that size there. Now, I'm trying to find a pair of calipers. Oops. I've got a very near here. That one there is just under 8mm, 7.7mm. .7. So that's, that's the one you want, the thinner of the two. Okay. And you also get this pin. It's threaded on one end and it's just an extension bar. And all you need to do is on the end of your travel gauge indicator, take off the nipple. Now, luckily <coughs> enough, there's a little hole in the, there's two holes in the extrusion here. And that fits just nicely in there, so you're not going to lose it. Now, I must say that when I bought this, they're all going to be the same, no matter what price you pay for them. There's quite an extensive different price range, but basically they're all the same kit, made by the same people. Yeah, I know. So, screw that into the end. This one I have to be a bit delicate with, because the thread's not that great, but I'll use some PTFE, some polytetrafluoroethylene. Or, if you're only going to use it once, you can glue it in there. I mean, it, it makes no odds well, as long as you get it in there. Um, I'll just wrap some PTFE tape around it. And it sits, it's now extended. And you can see the travel gauge does that. And basically, that sits in the back of the fuel injector pump. And that will travel all the way down. Like that. There you go, that is the setup that you need. And then that is in the right place to read the, the travel. And you want 90mm of travel of, of 90mm top dead centre. Now if you just give it a slight bit of pressure, you'll have enough travel. You've got the good good inch of travel. So you want to set it roughly in the middle and then wherever it, it, it comes you can zero it using the dial. That's basically it. Um, the rest of this kit you don't need to use in order to do to time up the pump on a P38. Now I've hoped that that's helped you. Um, have any questions drop me a line and uh, I'll do my best to answer them, if not, I can. Uh, I know a man who can. So, if you have any problems with that, give me a shout. If you don't have a, if you're close by and you need the kit, by all means, I'll lend you this one. It's no big deal. And then what I do is I just put the nipple back in, and that I use the same travel gauge indicator to uh, measure the rise on the piston head. So it's quite handy to have the travel gauge. But it, 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 it's the thinner of the two and the extension bar that you need to complete this job. Okay, I hope that's, I hope that's helped you out. Best of luck.